Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's week two of this month's Art Movements Challenge um, and I haven't really gone with any particular art style this week. I wanted to do a piece of art um, to commemorate Remembrance Sunday, Armistice Day and so this is the piece that I've done and I'll show you my video in a minute. I also had a comment from somebody last week saying that the last couple of months worth of challenges they are just finding too difficult. And so this week, we you can choose any style of art you like. Um, I'll show you my video now and I'll catch up with you at the end. Now I've put five colours of acrylic paint down onto a glass palette. This is just a, a glass chopping board. I'm doing my calendar page this week and I'm working on six by four inch mixed media paper. And the colours I'm using are magenta, sky blue light, lilac, ultramarine blue and yellow green. So you can see here that I've started off with the magenta and I'm using, um, I think it's a, a one, one and a half inch flat brush that I've dipped in water and then taken the excess off on the side of my jar. Um, just so that my paint is more fluid so that I can spread it and blend it really easily. So I started off with the magenta, now I'm using the lilac and I'm just going backwards and forwards in rapid um, left to right movements to try and blend those colours on my page. Um, next I'm dipping my brush again in that water and coming in with some of the ultramarine blue and doing exactly the same, going up and down in, um, in a backwards and forwards motion just to try and get those uh, colours to blend on my page. Now a tip for you, the colours will only blend when your paint is wet as well, hence the reason that I'm dipping my paintbrush in water first. Um, now you can see me coming in with some sky blue light and this is just the background um, layer that I'm putting on at the moment. I'll add some texture in the next layer. Next coming in with some yellow green at the bottom of my page and um, I just love the way that because I haven't cleaned my paintbrush you can see that I've still got some of the magenta and the lilac in here and it just blends beautifully and all adds to that overall background effect. Now, as gorgeous as this background is, and it is, I just love it. I want more texture in my background. So I'm using a scruffy, really scruffy old paintbrush. Um, and I'm just dabbing my paint on in really quick, rapid movements. I don't want to overthink this, but I'm just repeating the same colors that I've used already. Um, but this is quite um, repetitive and maybe a bit time consuming as well, because I want to blend these colors out as well, just so that we don't end up with with any harsh lines. So I just keep coming back in with the same colours that I used in my initial background until I'm happy with the overall look that I've got. Um, I'm not starting off in any one particular place, I'm going backwards and, and forwards and you know just being really short and choppy about this to get this particular look. And you'll see in a moment that as my paintbrush starts to get a bit too wet, I just bring in um, a piece of kitchen towel just to dab my paintbrush off, um, just so that I can use drier brush marks.
want to add some brightness to the top central part of my page. So I'm coming back in with some of that pale lilac and just dotting it, uh, dabbing it um, around. And I want to add a sun or a moon, whichever way you want to look at it. This is very impressionistic. And I'm using a sponge dabber to do this. I'm dabbing it in that um, lilac paint and swirling um, the um, dabber around. Then I dab some of that paint off um, and do that action again and it leaves these wonderful swirly marks um, I just love that look um, then I just add more of that magenta and some of the ultramarine blue as well just to bring in more detail you know I'm adding and taking things away then I decide to add some of the pale lilac to the left and right hand side of the page to you know spread spread out and add some highlights and areas of brightness Now I want to start adding the poppies to the bottom of my page but I need to add some grass and some stems to start off with and I'm using violet, sky blue light um, and ultramarine blue to do this and you can see that I've sprayed the paint, um, I'm working off a, an acrylic um, stamp block for this by the way, I sprayed the paint with water just to liquefy it um, slightly and I'm using, I think this is a nail art paintbrush that Linda Cooper P sent me in Happy Mail. It's got very long bristles. Um, perfect for adding um, grass-like shapes to the bottom of my page. And I'm using very, very light strokes to do this. And I'm not working in any one particular place either, um, because otherwise you'd just end up with marks all in one particular area and it wouldn't look as random. So I'm going, you know, left to right to centre and just being very, very random about how I apply these colours. Um, and I just keep repeating these three colours. So starting off with that sky blue light, then adding the lilac and then followed by the um, violet. And I end up using three different thicknesses of um, fine paintbrushes to get my overall effect. Just repeating those same three colours, which as you can see, I'm continuing to water down. Um, but the important thing here is using very, very light, light random strokes. You'll also notice that as I work my way through the three different paintbrushes that with a very fine one I start off in the top layer of the page, then in the next paintbrush I'm working in the mid section and then the final paintbrush I'm, I'm doing choppy um, layers in that bottom section just to build up that texture and layers in my background. And of course I don't want to waste any of that paint that I've still got left on my palette so I add a spray of water and just apply it to some mixed media paper and I get a lovely lovely dendritic effect. And I can use this for a background for another piece. So time to add my poppies to my page. I'm using the magenta again and applying the paint with a small paintbrush in a circular motion. I don't want too many poppies here. I don't want to over overdo it, but this is just the base layer as I do want to add some texture to them as well. Mm -hmm. 
So next I add some of the Pale Lilac to the poppies and I'm using a stylus this time to apply the paint. Um, going round in a circular motion just to add a bit of a detail. Um, then once I've done this I repeat the exercise with the stylus uh, going back in with the magenta. I'm just adding a few more highlights to my sun using some white acrylic paint which I'm applying directly to that foam sponge and again I'm just using that circular motion just to add those details. I love this effect. And finally adding some Payne's Grey to the centre of my poppies just to finish them off. This is my finished piece of artwork for this week. I'm really happy with the way that um, that this turned out. Um, I've tried different techniques that I haven't tried before and just thoroughly enjoyed doing it. So choose your art style this week. Just, you know, go, go with it and um, enjoy the process. And if you enjoyed my video today, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And do let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.